The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, just getting my day started, guys. I wanted to come here and just like just check in and just talk real quick. You know, it's been a crazy, tough, arduous last 12 hours on me. Yeah, man, it's crazy. So today is uh, day number 69. In our 90 Days of Boxing Live series, we're officially three weeks away from completing the 90 days, and then um, we'll see what we'll see what happens after that. But it's been a real interesting journey. It's been a real fun time here on True School Sports, and um, I'll tell you what hasn't been fun though. I'm talking. I'm gonna tell you guys before we get into the boxing. Before I get to your questions, it's it's been a crazy like 12 hours for me because yesterday I've had so much stuff going on that like. I went to the wrong airport yesterday. So I was supposed to fly out of Fort Lauderdale Airport. I went to, I thought I thought I was flying out of Miami, but it was, I really booked it for Fort for, for, for Lauderdale. So then I had to get another flight and then that flight took longer. And then, then I got in late last night. So now we're here and there's other stuff going on with with top rank and whatnot. So just, just a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on, but that's enough complaining. Just wanted to get that off my chest and 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 really and truthfully just just let the people know that I'm here. I'm here in Arizona. Um, Friday morning, I'll be in Vegas. So the True School Road Show has officially commenced. But um, we got my man Jesus M. Shout out to him. He says, uh, "Saludos, BT. Who would you match Nicholas Walters up with next?" That's a great question. Honestly. Walters has championship pedigree. Walters is a guy that I think last night showed. You know he's a a fighter that um, has evolved. You know he's he the, the uh, his career is advanced and his age is advanced, so his style has advanced. And so uh, I'm not willing to against anybody he fights, but I mean I I think a good little crossroads fight would be him versus like Jose Pedraza. Um, Jose Pedraza is a guy that's been getting his ass whooped every fight. He's up there in age as well. Um, that's the perfect fight, and then, and then if, if he could win that, then I feel like he should get someone maybe in the top twenty-five. I don't know. I don't know if Pedraza is still a top twenty-five guy, but you know something a bit higher than Pedraza. So I, for me, ideally, Jose Pedraza is a name that that uh, I like to see. You know, I, I've seen people throw out like Keyshawn Davis. They've thrown out like that kind of name. Keyshawn Davis should not be fighting no damn Nicholas Walters. You know, Nicholas Nick, unless Nicholas Walters. Gets a couple more called quality wins, then you can make that fight. But not now. I mean, come on. But shout out to all six of you here, guys. Do me a favor, right? I've had a tough twelve hours. Life, life, life's testing. Life is testing me right now. So, um, smash that like button so this video, so so this live gets pushed out to as many people as possible, so that YouTube knows that you guys like these lives, that you enjoy ninety days of boxing, and um, yeah. And let me know too, like where are you guys watching from tonight? Um, you guys know I'm, I'm, or today I should say, I'm in Arizona. I'm in, I'm in the, you know, never, never been here. My first time in Arizona. I still haven't really got a, had a chance to see much other than, you know, I drove by the Arizona Cardinal Stadium last night, and I, um, it was pitch black dark. And then today I went to Walgreens. So that, that that's about it. That's all I've seen so far. So. Uh, the press conference for Sinisa and Yoko Valle and Oscar Valdez, Liam Wilson will be at one o'clock Pacific time. So that'll be here very shortly. So I'm going to have to get down there. As soon as this live is done, I, as soon as I get this hour in, get in the Uber and um, head down to uh, where the press conference is. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Seuss, I'll, I'll definitely, if I see Raymond, I'll be, I'll be trying to, you know, interview him and, and, and talk to him, you know? Do, do, um, are you going to interview the winners of the car, BT? I'm going to interview whoever I can. The winners, the losers, every, everything, everything. I, I don't discriminate. You know, I, I, Funny enough, I remember when I covered Conor Ben versus Pete Dobson, I interviewed Pete Dobson. He lost the fight, and that, and that was one of the highest viewed videos of that week. That, that, that video actually did a lot more views than a lot of the Conor Ben videos. So, um, yeah, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't turn on nothing. You know, but we got we got an action packed day. I mean, I'm going live with you guys right now. Then I'm going to the win. I'm gonna get some content. Then I'm gonna post my content. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to the I'm going to the Diamondbacks game. The Arizona to go watch the baseball. I've never seen. I've never been to uh, their stadium. I'm trying to go to all 30 MLB stadiums. I think this one will be like number 14 or 15. So I'm like halfway there. 
And so, uh, yeah, today's opening day in baseball, so I'll go, go, go catch some baseball and go have some fun with that after we get our work done. Go down to the Grand Canyon and take the... Now I don't got time for that. I don't, I don't got time for that. I'm, I'm not in Arizona for a long time. Uh, but shout out to you, Edward. Uh, weigh in is at one. Yep, yep, I'll be there at one o'clock, so should be fun. Please interview Lindolfo Delgado. Uh, he must step up, step up in the level of opposition. Uh, for sure, man. But listen, wherever, I, wherever we come across, wherever we come across, that's who you'll see in the channel. I don't, I don't turn on nothing. When it comes to the interviews, like, got to understand, BTZ, I'm a yes man. I like boxing. I love boxing. This is my life. Like, I love the fighters. So I will, anybody, you know. But yeah, get, get your questions in, guys. Anything y'all want to talk about, you know, while I'm here. I may cut it short. I may let it go an hour. I'm not sure, but it all it all depends on you guys. If we get good responses, then I'll I'll, I'll go the, the the whole hour. If we don't get like a lot of responses, then uh I'll cut it short because you know we are time is of the essence today. How am I liking Arizona so far? I mean, I've met a couple people. They're pretty nice, but I haven't like seen. I really haven't seen anything because I, I got here like. Two or three in the morning last night, so it was pitch black. It was dark. I didn't get to see much. I was tired. I went right to sleep. So I I, I don't have any really insight to give you on Arizona. Only thing the only thing I can tell you I like about Arizona is is the Mexican girls here because I dated I dated a couple Mexican girls here, but that's about it. You know. But other than that, I can't really say much about Arizona. <laughs> uh, do I collect boxing trading cards? Um, no, I don't. But I, I've, I've, per I bought some before as gifts for people. Like I gave um, in 2019. I went, I went to New Jersey, and while I was there, I went to like, I went to like, like, like this trading card store, and I bought some boxing trading cards for Stacey McKinley, and I gave it to him. And he, he actually, he still has those trading cards on his desk because I was just there recently, and he still has those trading cards on his desk. So, I, I don't buy boxing trading cards, but I, but I know, I know about them, and I know that, like in the 80s and 90s, they were, they were popular. BT, um, do you think Las Vegas was poor MLB baseball? I I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, they have enough stuff. They have, they have enough sports. What fat? What fat? I mean, what fight? What f I think it means what fight? What fight is this? It's um no, I'm covering this. So I'm covering the top ranked card first, the one on ESPN. Oscar Valdez, Liam Wilson, with Sinisa Estrada and Yoko Bai as the co-main event. And then, to, and then Friday, uh, by Friday morning, I'll be going to Vegas for the car you're talking about. So I'll be at both of them. So if you're going to be at either, let me know. Let me know. I'd love to meet some of the viewers here on True School Sports, you know. It's always, always it's a, that's, that's really become my favorite thing to do. It's like when I travel, when I go to different cities and different states, I love when I meet people I've never met in real life. And... Um, and they watch the channel, so it's fun. Who do I got? Uh, Sneeze Estrada Yokovai. It's a great fight, you know. It's a big, big fight for women's boxing. But um, I've been pretty adamant for about eight years now that I think Sneeze Estrada is one of the best, most smartest fighters in boxing. So um, I'm not gonna move out that square. Yokovai is gonna have to turn me into a believer. Um, I'm sure she's gonna bring a good, intelligent pressure style to the fight. But I just ultimately think in the end, Sneeze Estrada will be a little bit too uh, clever, a little bit too smart. A little bit too versatile and a little bit too much more of a dog than her, um, so I think she'll win a she'll win a decision. Who is Sinisa getting married to? Um, that's not my business, honestly. Um, bless her, you know. Shout shout out to her on getting married. I don't have anything to say about that, um, but it's not my business. My, my only my only business is just covering the fights. May she have a nice life. You know, we don't we don't we, it's not it's not my business. Uh, BT, you may miss out on Oakland's. Oakland A's stadium finally. The um, the Oakland A's stadium was never like a stadium that I really cared to go to because that's it, I can tell from a mile away it's a dump. But uh, yeah. If I go, I go. If I don't, I don't. But it's not like a stadium that I have to check off. You know. Are you going to meet Sinisa Estrada? Um, I've met her before. I mean, if, if she's doing the weigh-in today, so I'm sure just like just like most boxing weigh-ins, they're gonna come, they're gonna do their weigh-ins. If they're really weight drained, they're gonna they're gonna drink the Pedialyte and they're gonna dip right out and go eat. You know, so that's I'll probably say hello to her, and that's about it. You know, I've known Sinisa. I know Sinisa. 
uh, like for eight years. I know for eight years, so we're cool. Did a good amount of interviews with her over the years. BT is the anti Anthony Mackie because he loves interacting with the fans. I'm gonna sound like really dumb here. Who the hell is Anthony Mackie? I don't, I don't even know who Anthony Mackie is, so you might have to put me on game. Who is this uh, Anthony Mackie you speak of? <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'll tell you this, though. I, I like my Airbnb. I kind of wish I was here longer. Um, I really, really wish I was here longer. Um, it's nice. <sighs> you guys are nosy. You guys, you guys are some nosy people, man. Um, Brandon says, did you ever shoot your shot at Sinisa? Um, I did what I could, you know. It was what it was. It didn't, obviously, it didn't work out because she, she getting married. It ain't to me, so... Um, yeah, best wishes to her. I, I got nothing to say. I'm not going to really speak too much on that. But, uh, you know, she's got a big fight coming up against Yoko Vae, and, and And this is big for her legacy. And, you know, things move forward. Such is life. Things move forward, you know. God is good. You know, uh, I got my hair cut. You know, I, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. Ready to give you guys great content. So, Captain America, Anthony Mackey. I don't, I don't know who that is, champ. Uh, you, you gotta be more. I don't know who that is. It's like, what is that like a? It's like a. Is he, is he like a commentator or something? Or is it? Are, are you telling me that that's actually Captain America, like 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 a superhero? I'm, I'm a little slow right now. I'm, I'm still I'm still waking up. I haven't eaten yet. I'm a little slow. My mind's in a million places. Um. Who are the top ranked staff are you looking to see again? Like the the people that work for them? Uh, I got to see quite a, uh, quite a few people that work for them today. They, they, the top ranked men, they, they, they drive me up a wall today. But uh, I got I to gotta see a couple people from them today. I'm looking forward to seeing all of them. I love everybody. I'm looking forward to seeing all of them, you know? Yeah, man. 90 days of boxing. I can't believe it. Day 69, man. I can't believe it. When I was in New York City for Autobet Comatol for his Ford and I did my live like this, it was day 42. Today is day 69. So, man, it's been a journey. I, I really don't feel like I'm the same person I was when I started all this. So, um, it's going to be crazy to see who I'm at when all this is done. Um, Anthony Mac Mackey is an actor. Probably like C level. He played Tupac in Captain America, sidekick and okay. Good to know, man. I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a big movie guy. I don't really watch movies like that. I don't got time for movies like that, but thank thanks Thanks for putting me on game. BT, would you go to the only BT would only go to the athletics game if his boy was there, Don Char Willis, Bay Area, Marlon. Yeah, see now if he was pitching, I'd go anywhere for Don Char Willis. That's my guy. It's my, my one of my favorite players. By the way, you know. Happy opening day to everybody. You know, I got the I got the Marlins cap, you know. Happy opening day to everybody in the world, you know. Shout out to the Marlins, you know. Hopefully we don't we don't suck too bad this year. But uh <laughs> happy opening day. Have you seen the venue yet? No, I haven't. I haven't seen the venue. So uh I'll, I'll, I'll be, I have I haven't seen anything of Arizona yet. When I tell you like I got in at two or three in the morning, I went right to sleep, I didn't see nothing. You know, so I'm just, I'm just I'm, I'm right now, I'm talking to you guys, and I'm just mentally getting in that mode to try to get as much content as possible today, you know? Um, that's, that's really where I'm at right now. But I want to give a shout out to Pops, man. We almost lost the streak yesterday because Pops was supposed to go live for the Nicholas Walters, Joseph Adorno fight. And, um, you know, the AC in our house back home went out, so he's had to go move around the city trying to find somewhere to stay. Then, like, I missed my... I book. I went to the wrong airport, so then I was. I wasn't gonna get to Arizona till like the next day here. So it was all in his hands to go live to keep the streak alive, and he did. So shout out to Pops. I was a little worried that we, that we were gonna lose a streak last night, but the but the ninety days of boxing streak continues. Um, he said, "Bro, you should just go rent a car and go to Las Vegas." Nah, man. Uh, I rather I I I I'd rather just fly. It takes takes two minutes. It takes like it takes like literally like. Less than an hour, and you were in Vegas from, from Arizona. It's super close. It's super cheap, and it saves me a lot of energy. And when I'm out west and when I'm going to these events, the main thing is, is, is energy. That's the main thing I need. 
So whatever I got to do to preserve my energy, that's what we're going to do. But it's good, guys. You know, hope, hope all is well. Hope, hope everybody's good. Make sure you smash that like button. Which fight am I looking forward to the most? Um, definitely Sinisa Estrada Yokovai. Um, I think that's the most significant fight on the card. I think, you know, they have the most history. They have the most beef. They have the most trash talk. And truth be told, I mean, shout out to Oscar Valdez. I know we're in his home state, but um, I think that, I really think Sinisa versus Valle should have been the main event. It's an undisputed fight. Um, it's a big time trash talking fight. And um, would have been good, but I like that fight just because of the storyline. And I've been a big Sinisa Estrada supporter for eight years now. So it'll be very good to see if, you know, God willing, she wins the fight. It'd be really nice to see her. Get over the hump and, and, and become what she always said she'd become, which is the undisputed champion and, and really cement um, her legacy. Mm. Following Stars asking a great question. He says, is this the first live undisputed fight for you, BT? Is it? It is. It, it actually is. You're right. I didn't even realize that it is because, I mean, the only undisputed fights that have happened have been, what, like the NOA's fights and... You've had Crawford versus Spence, and you had like Canelo's fight against Plant. Um, I, I I didn't go to any of those fights live, so yeah, this is actually quiet as kept. This is my this is my first time seeing an undisputed champion be crowned live, so that that should be a different uh, experience, you know. Whoever, whomever it may be, I think it'll be Sinisa, but if it's Valle, you know, it is what it is. We'll see how it is. We'll see what, what it's like in person. You know, I, I know on TV it's like it looks one way, but I'm, but in person it might be something completely different. Am I going to the PBC card? Yes, I'll be I'll be there. Um, I'm flying out to Vegas Friday morning, and I'll get there Friday morning, and I'll be at the fight or no, not Friday morning, uh, Saturday morning. I'll be flying out there Saturday morning, and I'll be at the fight Saturday night. So yes, I will be in Vegas for the fight. And yes, yes, sir. And if any, and listen, if any of you, like, like I said, if any of you guys are there um, at the fights, this one or the other one, let me know. How long are you staying? So I'll be, I'll be, I'll be here in Arizona uh, today and tomorrow. And then I'll be in Vegas from sa this Saturday to next Sunday, I think. So about a week or, week or so, give or take in Vegas and then. After we after the after Vegas, back to Florida to go watch the real the real main event in all this on this little trip, which is Angelo Leo versus Eduardo Baez. You know, Eduardo Baez versus Angelo Leo is the fight that out of all these fights I'm going to, you know, this is a cool little fight with Tanisa. Zufandura's cool little fight. Hitchens and um, Pacheco's fights are cool little fights, but the fight I'm looking forward to the most. It's hands down, Angelo Leo versus Eduardo Baez. That's, that's my guy, and I think he's one of the best fighters in the world. So I look forward to him continue to put me right um, in that fight. Are there any gyms in Arizona you're going to? I haven't really thought about that. Um, maybe I maybe 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 I might, I might try to go to one. I might, I might try to go to um, I might try to get go to at least one before the fight night tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I know like uh, M Michael Carbohol has a gym down here. So I've, I, maybe, maybe I'll go check out his gym in the morning tomorrow. Who knows? That's a good idea though. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you, you asked me that question because I, I probably would have never even have thought about that because I've been, my mind's been in so many directions with me, with me missing my, with me going to the wrong airport. Um, just all kinds of stuff right now. I just got, I got I'm, I'm, I'm in all kinds of different directions. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the list of things to do. Salute to True School. Who do you got out of Bam Rodriguez and Gallo? Um, I'd probably I'd favor Bam, but I I really want Gallo to pull it off because I like Gallo and um, Gallo is a great fighter, so it would be cool to see Gallo win. But I, I'll say Bam probably wins that one. Do you want to try a local Arizona restaurant? Beat? Yeah, uh, I was I was talking to the Uber driver last night, and he gave me a couple recommendations um, of places right near where the fight's gonna be at. So. I'll probably go try one of those places uh, either tonight or tomorrow, you know, and see see what it is. I mean, I'm going I'm going to the Diamondbacks game today, so I'm I'm excited about that. BT is a hot dog a sandwich? No, hot dog is a hot dog. 
<laughs> so it's, that's a mad random question, but no, a hot dog is a hot dog. By the way, guys, um, I would highly encourage you to. Um, I, I went on this guy's channel, uh, my man George Zapata, uh, Zapata Boxing. This is like this channel. He used to always comment on my videos back in the day, so he reached out to me like a month ago, and he he wanted me to, he wanted to get me on his channel, and I said yes. So I went on there, and he like he he like he interviewed me and got my like story on the story of me and boxing, how I came to be, and we talked some boxing and like 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 a lot of the hot button topics. So um, go check out my community post. I left the link in my community post. Go check it out. It was a it was a great uh, interview. I had a great time. Um, and I'm sure you guys, if you go, if you take the time to watch it, you'll enjoy it as well. So go go, go check that out. Me and Zapata Boxing. Shout out to him. Good guy. But shout out to everybody here, man. It's the boy B, your boy BT, the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. Ninety days of boxing, still going strong. We've been in what? We've been in Florida. We've been in California, Vegas. Upstate New York and not Arizona. So five states, five states within the last, within the five states in the last um, 70 days, you know, within, within this whole 90 days of boxing journey. So it's a, it's been a lot of fun, you know. Rolly or Pitbull? I would go with, I, I really want Rolly to win that fight. I think he has a great chance to win the fight. But I just think, uh, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not too confident about like Ismael Salas. In his style, um, like like the way he teaches fighters, meshing well with Rolly. I have my I am very skeptical of it. So um, I think once Pitbull gets to him, he's gonna go back to fighting how he knows how to fight. And I don't know. I just I'll go with Pitbull by like a like a decision, maybe like a close decision, something like that. He outworks him, something like that. Um, I'll tell you this. As far as the main event of. Uh, I know this is a completely different card, but Ryan, Ryan versus uh, Devin is not too far away. I'm going to give you guys my, my official prediction, and, I, and I'll probably be saying this in every single live up until the fight. My official prediction for Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney is I think Devin Haney is going to beat Ryan Garcia by disqualification. I think things are going to get very chippy in there. I think Ryan's going to do a lot, bunch of dirty tactics like he's been talking about in all these interviews, and, he's, and that's going to be his way out. He's not going to get knocked out. He's not going to get out of the box. It's not going to go the distance. He's going to do some dirty stuff, and he's going to and Devin is going to win via disqualification. That that's my prediction for Ryan versus Devin. How does it feel for your Panthers making it over the hump in the postseason? I mean, I still think they're going to win the whole thing. Um, I was at the game the other night. They they, they they just lost a very big game to the Boston Bruins, and it was a very heartbreaking game to lose because we were we were winning three to two. And there was like seven minutes left, and then we gave up two goals in three minutes and lost the game. And it was for first place in our division, so we're playing. We're playing for the chance to maybe get an easier opponent in the first round, and we lost. Um, I, I I think the Panthers will win the Stanley Cup, but I'm starting to have some. I'm starting to have some mild concerns. There's some things I'm starting to see with the team that are starting to worry me just a little bit. So hope, you know we still got like roughly ten games. They need to show me something. They need to show me certain things. So that I can I can be at ease before the playoffs start. But I think by the time the playoffs get here, they will be okay. And whatever they put in front of us, we will, we will dismantle them. We will beat them, and we will find a way to lift the Stanley Cup and bring it home to South Florida. So, yeah, man, I, I I'm still pretty confident about it. And that's why I'm pushing back my Japan trip because I think I think it's gonna happen. I can see Ryan getting disqualified. LOL. Does that count as a KO? Uh, no, I don't, it won't count as a KO. It'll, it'll just be a win. It'll just be a win, and it'll just be a title defense for Devin Haney, but it wouldn't count as a, as a KO or anything like that. Um, yeah, I think, I, think, I, think, I, think things are, I think Ryan is going to look for a way out. I think things are, are going to get very chippy and nasty in there. And, and he, yeah, like I think right now when you look at Ryan's mental state and just how he's been acting – you know he he's never been more prone to lose by disqualification than he is right now. And I I gotta tell you guys, this may be a first. I don't I don't think I've ever predicted a fight. I never predicted a fight to end by disqualification, but this is the first time. First time for everything. Devin Haney wins against Ryan Garcia by disqualification. No doubt about it in my head. Shout out to everybody who, who who's rocking with me. 
shout out to everybody who's like rocking with me right now. I'm just chilling in the Airbnb. I'm gonna show you guys. Look, just this is this is where the magic happens. You know, this is it. It's the bed, and it's pretty cool. I, li I like it here. I wish I, I wish I had more than two days. May have to come back here again. Um, who do you know for sure you would interview from this card? I have zero idea. I, I don't know. Because the thing is, like, I came on the day of a weigh-in. And when you come on the day of the weigh-in, it's always a little harder. Because fighters don't want fighters don't want to do interviews as much when they weigh in. Because they're dehydrated. They made the weight cut. So if I would have got here a day or two earlier, I probably could have told you. But I don't, I don't know. So whoever I get is whoever I get, you know. I'm not really too bothered about it. I'm not really too worried. You know, I'm just going to get who I get and put it up. And hopefully you guys like it. And then carry on, you know. It's, the show goes on. But guys, look, on that note, look, there's not really anybody here, to be honest with you. There's, a, there's like nobody here. And I, have, I do have to get moving. So I just wanted to come, get it in, talk to you guys, uh, say what's up. And, um, you know, stay tuned for the content. Stay tuned for the interviews. Stay tuned for the shorts. Stay tuned for all that. And um, tomorrow, Pops will be live for the fight. And then he'll be, and then he'll also be live for the Simzu Fundura fight. So two days of pops, and then I'll be back Sunday. So take care, God bless, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes.